Hello, everyone. So welcome to the third uh, video on this uh, playlist. So in the last two videos, we had created the uh, Google account, that is Google service account. And we have created the uh, this particular JSON credential file we have downloaded. Next step now, uh, you keep that in one folder, read sheet, and then I, I'm working in the file called abc.py. Now, uh, there are several videos, uh, there are several resources online, which will tell how to access Google spreadsheet from Python. So uh, that's what I have done. And I am on your screen, I am now showing a simple code, which is basically 13 lines of code. Okay, so uh, now the, the code is more or less fixed, except in one or two places, we have to change the file names and etc. I will explain that. But this code is fixed to a uh, level where using this Python program, you can get the uh, data. Okay? Data, uh, you can read the Google spreadsheet data from the Python program. Now, you know that uh, the file name is data logger. So if I go back to our uh, spreadsheet, so this is the sheet which is used by students to upload the data. So for example, K3, from Kit3, we are getting this data. K4, as of now, no data. K5, we are getting some data. K6, we are getting some, like this. Different sheets, uh, we are getting different uh, data from uh, different kits. Some of the students who have not yet uh, uh, you know, uh, connected their uh, kit, the sheet is empty, but uh, most, more or less, most of the students are now started sending the data. In fact, some of the data we are getting real time also. So for example, if I check, uh, let's see, let's try K33. Okay, so now if I go to the bottom of this sheet, so here I can see 1,8,414 rows are there in this particular uh, K33 sheet. Okay, so the student who is handling the kit number 33 added this many uh, rows. I think if I still wait, no more rows are coming. Uh, let's check some other sheet, for example. So here only 1,085 uh, rows are there. So different uh, students have different amounts of data. But anyway, so the point is now first I want to know uh, how many uh, records are there in each uh, student's uh, database. Okay. so. But first of all, I want to access this thing. So this is the code. So um, let me come from line number one, import this spread. So line number one, import this spread. That is the, uh, uh, what you call Python library to work with Google spreadsheets. Then import pandas as PD. So right now this is no use for this, but later we will be converting the Google sheet data into pandas data frame. That's why I kept it. And from OAuth to client.service account, import service account credentials. So this is again, you know, this is how the procedure is. So you have to do that import time. So this time is useful for, you know, knowing the present date and present time and things like that. So again, as of now, we are not using it. So don't worry. Then we have to say scope equal to, and this is again fixed, no need to change anything in this line. Uh, so like this, then uh, line number seven, creds. So basically you have to create some credentials. Uh, so here is a where it is important step. So uh, there is a JSON file we have to pass in this particular uh, line number seven. Okay. So this file name, if you remember, we created in the video number two. And this is video number three. Again, uh, if you are uh, seeing this playlist for the first time, so please refer to the last two videos. So this file we created, we kept uh, this file in the in this particular folder here. In the same folder, I am creating this abc.py program, and that is Python code. In that, I am now calling this file. Okay. And then next, client equal to gspread authorized creds and sheet equal to open. So this line number nine, we have to give the file name. So whatever is your file name. So in our case, the file name is data logger. So here you can see that file name. So whatever is your Google spreadsheet name, that name you give there. Uh, in, a, in this, in our case, we are giving data logger and sheet instance. See, there are several sheets. So I can select any sheet. So for example, here, if I say K5 or K33, so because sometime back I opened K33, so I selected the K33 sheet. So now if I go to uh, that sheet, K33, so here, uh, this is the sheet 
and if i see here uh, i am getting some values 239.1 0 0.04 something like this frequency and all this so now if i go back again so i can select any sheet so instead of k33 i can select any other sheet then i am saying uh, sheet instance dot a cell a2 dot value so basically i am going for the value of a2 so now if you see a2 see this is a column and second row so this value 16358478088 so that is what we are expecting and now i want to print that value so basically what this program will do this program will uh, import the required libraries then uh, get itself uh, auth authorized or authenticates and then accesses the opens the file data logger accesses the sheet k33 and accesses the value of a2 and prints that value okay. so uh, let me now open i i'll go to this uh, thing and then open a terminal so pwd and then ls okay. so here you can see abc.py program is there and then this terminal is uh, this is there so now i'll i'll run python so python 3 that is the latest version of python i'm running and then abc.py so if i execute this program and then just wait for a uh, couple of seconds so i am getting this one 16358478808 so that is the first uh, the value of a2 cell we are able to read okay so if you want to try it uh, let's say this this value i want to read i'll just uh, for uh, sake of clarity i'm just coloring so this is b8 238.9 okay so let's see whether i can read the b8 so what i have to do i go to the sheet and then here i'll say b8 and then now I'll execute the program. So what is the output of this program? So here now you can see uh, 238.9, that value is there. So now I can read the any value, any cell from the uh, particular uh, uh, sheet by using this uh, code. Okay. Now, uh, okay, uh, if you want further information, so here if you see there is a particular, uh, some just online resource, so read and write Google Sheet with five lines of Python code. So it's how to a simple uh, thing how to do. Everything is explained step by step in this. Okay? So basically you need to uh, import this G spread, then OAuth and Pandas. All these things are given. So and before that, <coughs> what kind of um, softwares you need to install, what kind of packages, everything is there in this. So uh, uh, by the way, uh, you need to install these uh, libraries, whatever, which, whichever is there on top of this thing. <coughs> I will make another video explaining the uh, installation of these two. But for the time being, let's uh, do one more thing here. See, if you go down, there is one uh, uh, function. With Ebo, you can simply read all records into a dictionary get all records function and pass into pandas data frame. So here you see, uh, df equal to pd dot data so this code i will uh, uh, take get all records okay so uh, let's see so i will make uh, that uh, df equal to pd dot be careful with the capitalization so d should be capital and f should be capital and then simply give the get all records uh, command. So our sheet instance is this one. So I copy the sheet instance and then dot get all records. Okay. By the way, how many records are there in this particular sheet K33? So if you see uh, sheet 33, so here right now uh, we are in uh, sheet 33. And if I go down, so there are 1,8,414 records are there. Okay? So let us see whether we can read all these uh, records. Okay? So now I am no longer interested in this. So now instead of printing the entire data frame, I will simply say print pd dot size. Does it, uh, let me just check size of data frame in uh, python ha huh, so dot size okay. so simply 
I have to simply say print pd dot size. So the size it will be printing. So let's see whether we are getting all that uh, data. So uh, again, this is my code. Just I made a one change that uh, I got the sheet instance and from the sheet instance, I'm saying get all records and then I'm storing it in df and then uh, I'm sorry, df dot size. size. Okay, the data frame size it will be. So let's see. So it will take some time to read uh, that many records. So let's wait for a few seconds. Yes. So here I'm getting 75,000, 758891. This doesn't exactly match uh, with this. Let's see. I think size might not be the correct function. So data frame index column values shape i think shape is the correct one sorry so shape means it will show the rows and columns i'm sorry so size might be the memory size it, it might have printed so please excuse me for that so now let's see the shape shape means the rows and columns will be uh, coming as a tuple huh. so here you can see uh, 108413 comma 7 so what is this 7 so if I go back here, uh, where is the data? Yeah. So I'm having A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So, and uh, yes, that's it. So there are seven columns in this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So seven columns. And how many rows are there? Now, if you go, actually, this last row, if you see, You can see 108414, but here you got uh, output, you got only 413. That is because the header row is not counted as a row in the data. So it is just like that. In fact, if you want to simply get the information, so print df dot head, print uh, df dot columns, some, some uh, you know, uh, description of the data also we are getting. So in this way, for every sheet, now I can count the number of uh, rows that are present. Okay, so now you can see, uh, first I got the shape, then uh, I got the head. Head means the first four, four or five rows and last five rows it is showing. And then uh, the uh, columns, time, voltage, current, power, all these things, it is coming. Okay. So... Uh, now I want to extend this code that I will do it in the next for all these students for K1 to K50. I want to see how many rows each sheet has. Okay, so that's what uh, we will do it in the next video. So this particular Python code, I will keep it uh, the link for this code in the description. So you can download this code and simply run it. And later on, you can uh, keep uh, following the editing. So because nothing much is there, these things are all standard. Uh, uh, things uh, the our coding will start only from you know line number 10 or 12 okay so yeah so see you in the next video thank you